Hello friends, welcome back to the Selenium tutorials. Up till now, we have covered like how to execute a Selenium script on multiple browsers. We took example of executing a script on Firefox, then on Google Chrome, and finally on Internet Explorer. So in those examples, we are do we were not performing any actions on the web elements which are present on the web page. We are just maximizing the browser and fetching the title. In this example, we would be actually performing some actions on the web elements of the browser so we could take a simple example over here i am just opening the google gmail.com page so in this example what we will do is we will populate this email and password field through the automated selenium script so let's start doing that so one point like whenever we want to perform any actions on these web elements any web element it could be the sign in button or this checkbox we need to know some internal properties of these objects like i need to know what is the html id or some xpath some unique way of identifying these elements i need to know so that i could tell my script to perform the action on that particular element so for this purpose firebug would be of great help it would help me to fetch these properties now i had created a separate tutorial in which i had explained how to download firebug on your mozilla firefox browser so in case if you have you do not remember please refer to my previous tutorial in which i have explained step by step how to download and install this firebug it's very simple if you have not installed just follow these steps uh, on the right hand corner of the screen there is a menu you have to go to add-ons the add-on page would load as you can see on the screen it is loading in this search all add-ons field type firebug and do a search since firebug is already installed on my browser it is showing me these options options disable and remove if it is not installed in your system you will get an option to install your you have to just click the button and it would get automatically installed similarly we may require firepath in our future examples so for installing firepath you have to just enter firepath in this search box do a search again i have Fire, firepath installed on my browser so it is i am getting these options disable and remove if it is not installed in your browser browser you will get an option to install it on clicking of a button it would get installed you may require to restart the browser post installation so if these steps are not clear not clear now please refer my previous tutorial in which i have clear uh, i have explained in detail how to download and install firebug and firepath so let's go back to the page on which we need to perform operations so i need to enter email id in this email id field and password in this field so i need the internal properties of these two text boxes so i will activate my firebug you could see on the top right hand corner i have clicked the firebug icon and firebug has loaded at the bottom of the page now how to find the id of this email text box it's very simple if you could see the second option over here i just hovered my mouse over there and it is showing me click an element in the page to inspect so i click this arrow icon over here and now i'm navigate to email and i click on this email text box so this line in blue it is getting highlighted it shows me input id is equal to email class is class is blank type is email so whenever i inspect the element using this arrow its internal property gets exposed the firebug highlights it in blue as it is shown on your screen so the id of this email text box is e m a i l i would just copy it I would open notepad and save it. I would use it later on in my Selenium script. Similarly, now if I want to fetch the ID of password field, once again I would click on this arrow button, take my mouse to the 
password field the password field will get highlighted below you could see that this field has highlighted and its id is p a s s w d again what i will do is i would copy this do a control c and paste it in this notepad file i will use this email id and password in the selenium script so i have now i know the internal properties of email id and password and we would be performing operations only on these fields in this example so i have those ids so I, now i am in a position to use these ids in the selenium script so i would now close the firebug by clicking this red button towards the right hand corner it would close now i'll go back to the eclipse editor here we'll create a new class how to do it now you all must be familiar with it right click on the source folder new class i would name the class as text box underscore operation we are performing operation on text boxes so i have given this name i would select this option public static void main string args click on finish so this class will get loaded in few seconds with the default main method it has loaded as you can see on your screens now i will start writing my code in the main method the java program executes from the main method so the first line would be creating an object of web driver class so web driver driver is equal to new i would be using a firefox driver so you are familiar with these errors how to remove them just hover the mouse over there click on import web driver similarly for firefox hover the mouse over there click on import firefox driver and the errors would get resolved now the next step would be i would be launching this time gmail.com so the command is driver dot get we have used this command a number of times in this case only the url would change earlier we used google.com in this example we would be using gmail.com so it is http www.gmail.com so the gmail.com page would load now i need to perform operations like i need to enter email id in the email id text box and password in the password text box so again one second i will use the driver object driver dot now this method is very important i need to tell my driver object that you have to perform the operation on email id field so the method to do that is find element so driver dot find it i just typed fi and i got this option find element through the intellisense so i would just click on enter and within brackets i need to tell which element i which element on which element i need to perform operation so here i would be writing by dot when i do a dot i get a number of options since i have fetched the id using the firebug we had copied the ids of these two text boxes in this notepad file i had copied email which was the id of email id field and passwd which was the id of password field if you remember we had copied these two fields using the firebug so here in the find element i would be using this id if i would have fetched some other property which i would be taking in my next example if i would have fetched xpath then i would have used by dot xpath you could see this option it is showing by xpath but since we have fetched the id i would be using id in this case so driver dot find element by id within this inner brackets i need to pass 
the ID, actual ID, which we had copied and pasted in this notepad file. So the actual ID is email. I would write email over here. Now we need to enter some email ID in that field. So the method to do is to, to, to type that thing is dot send keys. If you could see, I just typed SEN and the intelligence gave me send keys option. I click enter and as a parameter, I would pass the email ID, which I need to enter in that email ID field. So in this case, I am just typing test at gmail.com. So when this line would get executed on the email ID field, test at gmail.com would get printed. Similarly, if I want to type something in the password field, once again, I will use the driver object driver dot find element by once again, I would use ID because we had fetched the ID of password field. So here I would enter the ID of password field which is PASSWD. I had stored it. I am just copying it and I would paste it in this field. Once again, I would use the send keys method because I need to enter the password in the password field and I put any password. These are, these, these are just random values which I am inputting in the username and password field. So my code is ready. The first line of this code would launch the Firefox browser. This would navigate to gmail.com. Next would be once the gmail uh, gmail.com page has been loaded, it would enter test at gmail.com in the email ID field and it would pass one, two, three as the password, the password would not be able, you will not be able to see the password because it would be masked, but it would type three characters in that field. So let's execute this execution is right click anywhere on the screen run as Java application. So as you can see, the script has loaded gmail.com page next step is it would it is entering test at gmail.com in the email id field and it has entered three characters like we had passed one two three over there so it has typed three masked characters in the password field and since we did not write the code of maximizing the window it has not maximized it but since these text boxes were visible the script was able to input these values which we had passed from the Java code. So we have successfully completed this test of entering some values in the text boxes. Once again, I'll get go back to the Java code. One important thing I need I'll revise is that we had fetched the ID using the firebug and because we had used ID, I used it in this bracket by ID. If I would have fetched some other property like xpath, which I would be covering in my next tutorial, then I would have written over here by dot xpath and provided the xpath in the in, in this bracket. So this concludes this tutorial where we have learned how to enter some values in the text boxes through the Selenium script. Guys, thanks for joining.